Let's find the surface area of this prism. Clean up first. Take any flat polygon. Wait, what's a polygon? A polygon basically boils down to having a bunch of dots and lines connecting them. It's a little more detailed than that, but we'll talk about regular polygons, the ones that you'll encounter frequently in this video. It's linked below. Take your polygon and after you stretch it out, that's how you get a prism. If it's a rectangular prism, it's just a rectangle that you stretch up. <laughs> what about an oblique prism? An oblique prism is one that you push to the side, not push, push. To calculate the surface area of any of these prisms, you have to take each individual side and calculate its area and then slap it all together by way of addition and Bob's your uncle. In other words, add up all the different surface areas. Let's find the surface area of this rectangular prism. If you haven't already watched the video on areas, stop right now and watch that video on areas, especially the area of a triangle. Pressing on, you have a prism here. It is a little square prism. And if you crush it down, you'll see that it's made up of six of these squares. Each square has the same side all around. In fact, we can measure it. It's three inches by three inches. And we know the area of a square, because we watched the previous video, is nine square inches. So we have six of these turkeys that we need to multiply. Six nines. Don't forget the square inches. Who benefits from knowing how to calculate the surface area of a prism? Well, that list includes architects, manufacturers, and others. And even if you're not one of those, you can still watch these videos. And if you need full-length episodes, or guides, or curriculum, and many other bonuses, ask your guardian or parent how. See you next time. God bless. Let's find the surface area of this prism. Let's look at this rectangular prism. When we smash it down, we can see that we have six squares and four squares. But wait! Each of these squares are the same. <laughs> so that means what we can do is look at 10 of these squares. Once we know the area of one square, we're in business, Bob your uncle. But we already do, we just did it. The area of each of these little squares is three by three or nine square inches. And you have 10 of them, so what's 10 nines? That's right, 90 square inches, inches, inches. Don't forget square inches. Don't forget to add an echo. Square inches, 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 inches. Clean up first. Welcome to the bonus section. We're not gonna talk about the oblique prism. We're gonna talk about this big cube. Big cube. 